Hello, this is Carlos. Here I'm going to explain how to make a claim and support it. A claim is an assertion that we want others to accept. To do so, we build an argument around it, which is a set of reasons and evidence to support our original claim. A claim answers a question to a specific problem. For instance, I want to know how to write a page turner. This is a very general question though, with many possible answers, and thus many claims so I better narrow it down to get a more specific answer. From self-determination theory, I know that autonomous individuals are more intrinsically motivated. Thus, maybe what I need to know is how to increase a reader's sense of autonomy. This is a better question because it is more specific and thus can direct me to the information I need to answer it. I can get an even narrower question if I include a claim within. Is ambiguity of a text associated with narrative transportation? My argument will part then from a claim that responds to this question and provide a set of reasons and evidence to support it. So my argument begins with a claim, which is the assertion or conclusion I want others to accept. My argument proposes that forcing a reader to infer the events or circumstances in a story through ambiguous statements that suggest rather than actually describe those events or circumstances has an effect on the level of narrative transportation. In other words, that a statement ambiguity has an effect on transportation. To support my claim, I provide a set of reasons. Ambiguity allows for a wide range of interpretations of a story. Freedom to create their own narrative satisfy a reader's need for autonomy. At this point, I could then provide the evidence that support my reasons. Yet, it is not obvious how these assertions connect to my original claim. I need a set of principles that connect them. These are warrants. Warrants explain why reasons are relevant. By offering warrants, I could rephrase my claim as this. Since a narrative is a reader's interpretation of a story, and satisfying the need for autonomy increases motivation, and being increasingly challenged but in control increases engagement, freedom to create their own narrative must satisfy a reader's need for autonomy. Thus, I predict that statement ambiguity, which allows for open interpretation, has an effect on the level of narrative transportation. Now that my reasons are connected to my claim, I provide evidence in the form of data that support my reason. In this case, to support my claim, I could run a study that compares how two sets of statements that imply the same construct but vary in their level of ambiguity affect the level of narrative transportation achieved by a reader. Evidence should be accurate, precise, sufficient, representative, and authoritative. Thus, simply comparing two statements won't provide enough evidence but you get the idea. Finally, agreement with an argument occurs when the party that I want to accept my claim accepts the reasons and the evidence that supports it. If these are questioned or proven wrong, the argument fails. Thus, a good argument should acknowledge the reasons and claims made by others that question our reasons or evidence. For instance, one could claim that ambiguity can make a story too difficult to follow or that it is identification with the characters or a good plot what increases transportation. Thus, my argument conclusions could be rewritten as this to acknowledge potential objections. Among the many elements that can affect the level of narrative transportation, for example, identification with the characters or reader's competence, Ambiguity that allows a reader to successfully infer the events of a story but still create her own distinct narrative can affect a reader's level of narrative transportation.